uh, friendship. That is uh, the first thing comes to mind. The next thing is uh, don't be selfish. When somebody dies, you love. Let him go. If you can help, help. You know, but uh, don't uh, prolong his suffering for the selfish reason. I told him my story, and I was selfish. Sixty-three days he was fighting, only to please me. Not why he will survive, but he wanted to please me, and that was wrong. And I, I only find this out later when I was walking around, and I saw the people. I said, no, I need to go back to the hospital. Tell him, get go. And that was hard. And when you can do that, from the selfishness to, to step away and uh, open your heart and. Even when you suffer, and even in this big pain, and you love that person, you can only love a person when you are uh, cruel to yourself. Then you can help this person. Otherwise, it's not possible. Selfish, selfish. We human beings are selfish to please our feelings. Our and that is not correct. We need to learn to to uh, yeah to suffer for somebody we love. In that aspect of the aspect of uh, coming back to your question, you need to not to be selfish. And if you love somebody or you, you respect somebody or whatever, it's like um, if you have HIV and you know you have HIV <coughs> and you go together with somebody and he doesn't know about this, tell him or tell her it's important then to tell him is, is difficult, I know, but how difficult is the after? How difficult is it when you're two, three months together and then he wants sex or whatever and you cannot give it to him? Why? You hate IV and you didn't tell him three months ago. What is the fairness on that? Tell him straight away. It will be hard when he leaves you, then it has to be like that, you know. Then the situation has to be, he goes. Or he loves you so much that he understands and he will speak with you about it. But uh, never, never lie about it.